Making our second stop in Byron for this season of holiday night lights, but we're definitely not in downtown Byron anymore. But if you ask the moats, that extra space means more room for lights that they're excited to share with anyone who wants to make the trip out. Our William Ingalls takes us there. The more property we get, the, the more we have to add. So we started out with a post stamp in Chicago and we first moved here to Rockford, had a little more room and now we're here and we've got a ton of room that we got to keep filling up. The moats still have a few patches of grass to cover in their new Byron home, but you have to hand it to them that they're pretty far along for their first full Christmas decorating here. The displays, they've grown with the space, but the love for the holidays, well, it's in this family's blood. It started with the, right with the kids, so our, our kids are all grown and now it's just the two of us here now. It started with them, you know, 30, 25, 30 years ago, we started decorating, um, started out with one or two pieces and then added up from there and now there's you know, well over 150 blow molds. And, but don't worry when it comes to helping hands because when the kids are too old and cool to help decorate, there's some eager grandchildren to take their place. So we've got uh, teenage age grandkids and uh, they love to come out and help us. So. They, they're calling ahead of time right for Thanksgiving, wanting to know when are we going to get started on the decorating. So they were out here several weekends in a row helping out. And so my wife and I and, and the grandkids do most of the work, yeah. And while there's a lot of new to take in, there's one thing about the moats display that has always stayed the same. The Santa and the reindeer have been through it all. Um, we're down a few reindeer. They fell off the back of the truck on the way to storage one year. Got ran over in traffic. Replaced a couple, the antlers get blown off in the wind and been, you know, repaired. So those have probably been with us the longest. Yeah. The, the sleigh and the very one reindeer was the first set we bought mm -hmm. uh, many years ago. Ever. So. That was the first we bought. If you haven't noticed yet, their love for the Christmas season is a little bit contagious. Bringing cars from all over the state line to this rural slice of Ogle County and some sweet treats from neighbors nearby. Our neighbors and they made us cookies and I mean they appreciate it too. You know, they just thank us all the time for what we do. A family and home that take what some people might call the middle of nowhere and make it feel like home for any who catch a glance with no signs of slowing down. Next year is going to be even more. Guaranteed. Wow, what a display. Can't wait to see what they got for next year. Now, the moats live in the 12,000 block of Hoisington Road. If you were to draw a line between Byron and Seward, the moats house is close to the center. Maybe a bit of a drive for some of you out there, but definitely, as you can see, it was worth the trip.